You've done, you've practiced cold exposure before. I have. And you are a doctoral student in a neurology program? Uh, neuropsychophysiology. Okay. Tell me about what you expect to happen physiologically and mm -hmm. psychologically as a result of an ice bath. Right. So the reason why I use ice baths and cold thermogenesis at all um, is not for the metabolic benefits, which as we know there are, it's for the mental benefits. And I actually am such a cold wimp, I hate the cold. Even thinking about going in here right now makes me cringe. But that's part of the mental aspect, right? So it's kind of, you get this anxious mode, this cortisol-driven mode, this um, stimulated, hypervigilant mode when you are exposed to something that's not pleasant, necessarily. However, the cool thing about cold thermogenesis is that it actually, at first, when you jump in, your body is gonna respond fight or flight, and it is gonna just jump right into that jump out mode, save yourself, you're gonna die, and you're gonna have a lot of stress. And, and at first, cortisol is gonna be coursing through your mind. But as you're able to get control of that hypervigilant mind and thinking about how cold it is and how you just wanna get out, you start focusing on the breath, you start working your way through it, and you'll feel this kind of calm sense come over your body. And at that point, you are actually training your nervous system how to flip the switch from sympathetic nervous system, fight or flight, to parasympathetic nervous system, the rest mode. The Sounds relaxation mode. Sounds like a great mode. skill to have. It is a great skill to have. So the biggest benefit of cold, working with the cold for me, even though I hate it, is because it trains my nervous system to be stronger and more um, resilient. Meaning that I can actually, more easy than other people, and you too and anybody else who does this work, can more easily flip that mode from stressed, cortisol-driven, stimulated, hypervigilant nervous system to the rest and recovery mode. And that's a, that's a huge skill to have. Kayla, you just finished. Yes. Two minutes. Still whole shivering. body, cold <laughs> exposure. You're shivering. Mm -hmm. You're frigid. That was 35 degrees Fahrenheit water. And it's freezing outside. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 55 degrees That's in the freezing air. That's freezing for me. <laughs> and it takes a lot of guts yeah. to go in when it's cold air and cold water, and you did it. Yeah. I'm happy. Did it fit the description that you gave us before you did the ice bath? Yeah, definitely. Um, like I said before, you get this. At first, your body goes into fight or flight, and your body's telling you, get out of this water. What are you doing? But then when you can start focusing on the breath and calm yourself down, like I said, you can tap into that parasympathetic nervous system and start to strengthen your nervous system, essentially, so that you can flip that mode on command. Once I was able to do that, I actually felt like this calm, focused state, a wave kind of wash over to me. And I think it'd be cool to actually hook up, you know, a brain mapping system to do this because I would assume that alpha becomes dominant in the brain once that parasympathetic nervous system kicks in. We have used the Muse headset to measure the brainwave activity of experienced meditators, inexperienced meditators, and we see a consistent pattern. Yeah. When they get down into the cold, they plunge down into a meditative brainwave state. Right. And it's immediate. Yeah. And they find it easier to stay there than when they are warm and dry on land. Yes, because it actually has to do with your survival, to stay mm -hmm. calm in that state. So it makes sense. One of the mantras that we use when there's someone in the ice mm -hmm. is, this is what cold feels like. And I used that with you. Mm -hmm. What was your response when you heard me say that? Um, at first I was like, duh. <laughs> but then I was like, you kept repeating it and I found it very helpful actually. Um, you kept repeating it and I was like, at first it was like, this is what cold feels like. And it wasn't great, right? Mm -hmm. Because I was in that sympathetic fight or flight. And then you said it again and I was just starting to settle in. And so I was like, oh, well, cold doesn't feel that bad. And then you said it again when I was like in it and pretty calm. Mm -hmm. And I realized, I accepted like this is what I'm going to be doing mm -hmm. for the next few minutes. Yep. 
then it was helpful because it's like, this is what cold feels like. Oh, cold actually feels pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think you got it. Yeah. What uh, the mantra does for me is uh, it pushes out all of the anxiety. This is not death. This is not injury. This yeah. is not trauma. Yeah. This is cold. But instead of saying what it's not, we push out all those other thoughts mm -hmm. with what it is. It's what cold feels like. Mm -hmm. And that's it. Yep. And that helps me calm down. Yeah, it was helpful. All right, Kayla, let's get you dry. Yeah. Let's get you changed. <laughs> Thanks for doing that and sharing yeah. your experience. We're sure. gonna